Same reaction most banks have. Bring me by. I hear you. You have a card on you? I sure do. Damn. My guy, a buyer, I grew up in central Florida. Transferred all over the country, various positions. Headed back now. And uh, he retired six years ago, and his wife's last transfer was in Sandy, Utah, which is where he's at right now. So he wants to come home. And uh, so I've had him set up to, uh, you know, receive these automatic MLS searches. And he said that this really looks great, and he would love to move down here right into this house. He's looking for a place on the lake. <clears throat> I'm sort of sorry they started allowing development on Lake Jessup. You know, I remember it's such an awesome. thirty years ago fishing. Right along here and catch a stingray in this lake. Get out! I looked into that thing. I thought I didn't know what I had. Yeah. I thought I stopped the bottom. What a surprise! You brought and that thing up. Huh? Probably, yeah, it wasn't huge, but he was probably twenty-four. Stingray. Yeah. Did and his, I, yeah, his watching, GPS get messed up or something? <laughs> I was watching something years later on Discovery or History One of them. Yeah. Talking about sharks and stingrays and stuff and how they come up from the ocean. Up through the rivers, uh -huh. and they, they gradually adapt to the pressure of water. Because <clears throat> you're you're what like 150 river miles, I think it is from yeah. The Atlantic here. Yeah, so he, he did a lot. Of this is beautiful here. What is this marble tile? Yeah, and it matches the marble slab on the. Man, that is just fit to a T. I don't. There's no heart, any grout the way that was put in. Beautiful. It's nice to see workmanship. You go in so yeah, many houses especially, people did it themselves and they're off. Especially a luxury thing. house like that, it's yeah. got to be done. It's got to be done right. Otherwise, it just stands out like a sore <clears> thumb. Yeah. You know. You're right. Now, that would stand out like a sore thumb in my house. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell is so that hard. doing in my house? <laughs> well, Dave, you got a huge walk-in closet here. that They've already got the organizers in. I assume they'll all stay Those built in. And I guess this is the master bath here? Yes. And it looks like you got more of that gorgeous marble tile right on up into the big... It's like jetted bath. Do you yeah. know if that thing has a heater? I do not think it does. You know, people put those things in without a heater. They're practically useless from my standpoint. I think they're useless anyway. <laughs> I mean, as soon as you turn the jets on, you got your bath nice and hot. Yeah. You know, it's cold in five minutes. But they can be retrofitted. They make, they make inline heaters for them. That's a nice, beautiful tile bath in here. Huh? More of the same. A lot of detail work. And you got this fancy dancy super duper shower thing over here. And it probably pulses and all that kind of stuff, I guess. <laughs> Comes out your I mean, you don't even have to clean your bum. It'll do it for you, Dave. Uh, at most, you just have to like, rotate. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like a chicken on a rotisserie and you're all set. <laughs> <clears throat> well, show Darlene these built ins. I think she's going to like that. Oh, I got a beautiful uh, what that, tray, tray ceiling in the master with gorgeous eight-inch crown molding. Yeah. <clears throat> Same kind of louvers you got in your house. Let's see if I can give you a picture. This looks out over the. Pool area and the dock in the back. Do you know if they're current on the on the mortgages? Yeah, they are. 
I don't even know what this is, but uh, it looks pretty fancy to me. Controls the fan. There you go. I'm sure you got a security system yeah, and all this stuff. Control. And some sort of an air monitoring system for like mold spores and stuff. There's two of them. Oh, you got a built in air monitoring system. And then there's a. For different air quality, I guess, and spores or fungus, if it starts growing, it'll alert you or something. There's, um, each of the air conditioners has a, I think it's a UV light. Ultraviolet thing. air yeah. cleanser. Yeah. So you have a lot of fresh air. That means you can pass gas and darling won't even know it. I have this listed as a fifth bedroom because it has a closet. God, Dave, you have to go back to work if you buy this place with this kind of office. You have to do something. I'm sorry, what? I said I have it listed as a fifth bedroom. Oh. Since there is a closet. But yeah, you could use it as a bedroom. That's what you... It'd be a shame to tear all It's just out. him and his wife. He really needs another bedroom. <laughs> and you don't want to make a guest too comfortable. That's it, yeah. So... Um, Real stone fireplace. Doesn't look like they use it too much. No, I don't think it's had one fire in it for me. When was this built? Then? O2. O2. Okay, well, let's go into the kitchen. Well, that was your dining room over here. I saw, I showed you that a little earlier. And then we got the kitchen. More of this gorgeous marble tile. This one has a crack in it, unfortunately. Yeah, a few there cracks along the side. Little settlement cracks. And this looks like, uh, what is it, cherry wood, 42 inch cherry wood cabinets? With a super duper gas grill, oven, fan. Looks like something that would belong in Carabas. And of course, this is where you'll spend all your time. It's the family room. Along with the kids' rumpus room, it looks like. Yeah, I think before the kids, he had both tables, a bar. Yeah, that would be he a lost, good he lost game all room. Of that when he got the kids. I can see. <laughs> Sacrifices he's made. Very nicely groomed backyard. And we'll just go on over here from the from the game room to the additional bath. You've got the same marble flooring. Funny, it's the kitchen is the only place that has the the cracks in it. Probably has more traffic than any other room, I would guess. It's one of your spare bedrooms, crown molding. And then you've got two more bedrooms up that way. And a Jack and Joe bathroom connecting. Two more bathrooms down this. All the way here with a little computer alcove. Cute little kids room. It's like all of it. It's got that crown molding throughout the whole house. Even the laundry room has crown. It's Darlene's room. She'll have fun doing clothes in here. Three car garage. Uh, 
Now we'll take a look at that dock area. Are the owners moving out of town? Or no, they're just there. Just want to downsize a little bit. He's an attorney with a local firm. Got no firms. Customer base is here. Summer kitchen for your entertaining. I guess that spa over there is heated or can be heated. Well, the, the whole pool is on solar. There is a gas heater, but it's disconnected. Yeah. So that would need to be replaced in order to get the spa hot. So you need the gas just for the spa? Yeah, well, the, the propane runs the stove in the kitchen. Right. I believe this grill. Yeah. And would have done the spa. Where's the solar? This side over here. Facing so this is facing north then? Uh, north. The front door faces southwest. I got a dog. They have a what? A dog. Oh, right. Where's the dog? Okay. Beautiful dock and walkway down to the There's a lake. So you got uh, really nice, subtle exterior lighting at night. Oh, here's an example right here. That's sort of neat. That yeah. looks really pretty out here at night. That's gorgeous. Damn. I wouldn't want to leave this place, quite frankly. Did they build the house themselves? Or? Uh, he did. He married her subsequently. Well, you got an absolutely gorgeous dock here. As you can see, you got your jet ski, two parkings for jet skis with the electric winch down to the lake. And then you got the uh, another one over here for your power boat. I assume the electric winches and all that stuff work. I'm not sure on this one. I had somebody looking at it this weekend. He tried to operate it and it wouldn't go, it wouldn't move. It doesn't look like it's moved in a while. The flywheel's got a lot of cobwebs on it. Boy, what a vista, huh? What's good about a lake like this is you got all that moving water flushing it out and keeping the water quality good, I would think. Yeah, it's gotten a lot better actually. When they built the bridge on 46 and took out the causeway, yeah. it started to scavenge the lake again better. 